guys welcome back okay so today i have a lot of like new stuff that i want to play in i'm just like oh my goodness where do i start the first item that i picked up today to play in is this new nomad cartagena magica palette cartagena magica so pretty i mean this palette screams like summer and spring to me and I'm supposed to be working on my fall looks, but <laughs> I'm like, I have to use this palette. It is so, so pretty. Oh my gosh, look at it. It's so gorgeous. So yes, this is the newest palette release for Nomad Cosmetics. They did send this to me. Thank you so much. <laughs> I really appreciate them, you know, sending me some of their palettes and items and stuff. It's just such a blessing. So I'm so happy that I get to play in this so so excited now i did pull their studio 54 highlighter this one i think is disco nights yeah disco nights because i'm like i'm using the palette kind of the same color scheme do i want to play in this highlighter so i might use that today but i also have this give me glow this one is the sunset glow okay so i did grab this and which one is this california dreaming so so pretty so i don't know which one of those i'm going to use today i have some stuff from rare beauty i did pick up one of their foundations hopefully it matches me because i'm like nicely coco licious right now and but i think it will i think it will i did get the foundation a concealer um and also one of their liquid blushes so we'll see how that goes i grabbed a couple of the juvia's place lipsticks I really wanted the whole collection. I'm really kicking myself for not getting that PR box. But I was just like, oh, I can't do it. But whatever. Neither here nor there. I did pick up three of them from Ulta. I got the darkest one from each color grouping. So I just made it easy on myself and just got the darkest one from the mauves, the peaches, and the chocolates. So... Hopefully one of those will go with my look today. And I... You know what? I grabbed this no pore blum what is it priming water now i got this in my ipsy box i didn't even open my ipsy box this month you guys i got all three the bag the plus and the premium i didn't even open them because on you know on camera i canceled so fast i was like now i now i remember why i canceled <laughs> but this no pore blum priming water now, I'm glad I got this in my Ipsy, bo Ipsy box because I like this stuff. It's rose scented. It says um, flower, water, and oil. So it feels like a serum with a little bit of oil in it, which I am loving. Because you guys know I've been using the Elemis rose oil mixed in like with my moisturizer and stuff recently and i love that so when i tried a little bit of this i was like that's nice so i'm gonna put some of this on today and my glam glow moisturizer that i've been using for my shop my stash and then we'll jump into all of these goodies that we're gonna play with today and i will have on some brows when i come back because ain't nobody got time for that okay okay so that's as good as it gets for brows today let's go ahead and prep with some p louise baits okay we are prepped now i'm going to jump into this beautiful gorgeous absolutely stunning palette and it's like i want to keep my eye look simple since i have a lot of stuff i'm doing a full face with you guys today and i don't want this video to be too long but i do still want it to be bold and bright and colorful and a good representation of the palette so i think i'm going to go ahead and start with this shade down here and place that in my crease Okay, so this is what this color is looking like on my skin tone. Very, very pretty, kind of like mauve type shade. But one thing I do wish about this palette that there was a darker, just a little bit deeper, kind of like plum type purple in there. Just for those of us who really like to, you know, smoke out a look. But the other, the other colors are very, very gorgeous. But I do wish there was one darker color in here. Okay, so let's go into this beautiful, bright, kind of like, what is that? It's like an orange, it's orange, but it kind of has like a red hint to it. So let's go in with some of that.
Okay, so that color is very pretty, nicely pigmented, very bold. I really like that, that's gorgeous. And there is a bit of kick up in the pan. <laughs> okay, so of course we gotta go into this beautiful yellow shade here. So I'm just gently blending that yellow into that orange, you know, just creating that gradient on my lid, going ham. <laughs> very, very pretty. Now I'm not sure if I want to, you know, do a cut crease and clean off my lid, or if I wanna just kinda of put some of these shimmers on top. Let me do a few swatchy swatchies and see what's happening. <laughs> okay, so these are what these shimmers look like. Oh, so gorgeous, so, so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Mm, I think I'm just going to apply, you know, the pinky purple ones directly onto my lid and see how that works out. So I'm gonna start out with this shade here, the lighter pink one. And since I don't have any nails on, I'm going to just kind of take advantage of using my finger. And I'm trying not to make a mess. I'm trying to be as accurate on my lid as possible and just building it up. Oh, she's pretty. Okay, I think that's fairly neat. Okay, now I'm gonna go into the darker shade here and place that right next to that pink. And just try to blend those two in together. Oh, that's pretty. Well, y'all don't get used to me using my fingers. Y'all know I hate this. <laughs> okay. I'm even dragging it out in my corner with my fingers. And now I'm just going to take a smaller pencil type brush, grab a little bit more of that orangey shade and just kind of, oh, that was a lot. <laughs> but just kind of blend out that crease a little bit more with that orange. I really like that orangey shade, very pretty. Okay, a little bit of black eyeliner for my lash line, and then I'm gonna decide if I wanna do a color today or not. Okay, so I think I do wanna add a little pop of orange. So I'm gonna use one of my Profusion Bright Lights eyeliners, and this one is Strobe. And when I say just a little bit, I mean just enough so you can see it. And I have noticed that these eyeliners do have a tendency to crack a little bit. So if you got wrinkly lids like me, expect some crackling, okay? <laughs> okay, so let's move on to the face, you guys. For Primer today, I'm using the Revolution Conceal and Define Blur Priming Serum. So this is what it looks like. It has a little pump on there, and I'm just going to apply this for my kind of like priming serum today. Now this Rare Beauty Foundation, from what I understand, is pretty light coverage, like light to medium at best. And y'all know I'm a full coverage chick, okay? Now I got the shade 480W. So I think I'm gonna be okay, all right? Cause it looks like a good shade for me. Um, and it's like, I wanna just try this out by itself, but knowing me and you guys see my dark circles and my hyperpigmentation around my mouth and stuff, 
I'm gonna go ahead and handle that before I go in with this foundation. Now, let me just show you, I know it's very watery, so you need to shake it up, but let me just show you what this color looks like, you know, on my face before I go in with my NYX concealer to clean up my dark circles and stuff. And I'm just gonna put a little bit on my finger. Okay, so that is 480W on your girl, okay? So I'm feeling it, I like it. So now I'm just going to take my NYX HD concealer and I am going to work on these dark circles a little bit before I go in with this foundation. Cause that's what I normally do with any other foundation. Even my full coverage foundations, I still cover up my dark circles <laughs> so, ahead of time, just in case, okay? Okay, so let's see what's popping. Now for this foundation, it says that it is a foundation elixir that feels barely there while building coverage and boosting your natural glow. Okay, and I'm thinking I should use a brush since I don't want this to get all soaked up in my sponge, so I'm just going to use my, what is this, my Real Techniques 101 brush. And this has the large doe foot applicator on it. So I'm just gonna do one side of my face first. And I'm going to be quite generous just knowing that this is not full coverage, you know? coverage is actually not bad oh wow you know what let me spread this out a little bit because the coverage is actually better than I thought it was gonna be I thought it was gonna you know be extremely extremely thin and light Now this is actually giving me coverage. Okay. Or maybe I just put on a lot. <laughs> Y'all know me. So it's very light, easy breezy. A little dewy, not too bad. I mean, hello. So on this side, I won't put quite as much. So what are we thinking, y'all? How's it looking on your girl? Just from what I can see in the mirror and in the viewfinder, I mean, it, it is a little Coco-licious, but I think this is a really good match for me right now. Dang, I am really shocked at this coverage. I thought this was gonna be more like, you know, a little BB cream, little CC cream type situation, but no. I like it. Yes, okay, I like. Okay, so I also got one of the concealers. This is the Liquid Touch Brightening Concealer in 430W, if you can see that. So let's check this out. From what I understand, the concealer is not as, or the concealer has more coverage than the foundation. And at this point, I'm like, <laughs> okay. Because I was shocked by the foundation. So this is what it looks like. So let's check it out. And I like how she, you know, did the tops where she um, designed it to where it's easier for people who have issues, you know, with their joints and different arthritis and stuff like that so that they could turn it easily. I'm like, I appreciate it, okay? <laughs> I really do. So, okay, so there's a lot on there. Oh, this is interesting. It's kind of shaped like, I don't know, what is that, a rectangle on the tip? Very interesting. Okay, so 
am I using a sponge for this? I never use a brush for my concealer. Let me get a sponge. Okay, so it feels a little bit more watery than concealers that I'm used to. I'm gonna blend this side out just so I can get familiar with how it, you know, works. Okay, already, I'm liking it. <laughs> Just that little bit of blending, I'm like, wait, what? I love when concealers just blend out seamlessly. I do, I love that. I hate when I have to beat myself in the face to blend out a concealer. So just the fact that it blended out so quickly and so easily, I'm here for it. And the coverage is, it's like light to medium, I would say. But I love the brightening aspect of it. It's, it's working out real nice right now. I like that. And I'm not trying to go for like crazy coverage right now because I already, you know, kind of covered up my dark circles prior to putting on my foundation. So, yes. And it's not like completely disappearing into the sponge, you know? I like that. I was a little concerned because you know some people been <laughs> really going in on her products and I'm just like okay am I gonna hate this stuff am I gonna love it and me being a full coverage type of chick you know I just went in thinking eh, you know it won't be enough coverage for me but honey I am feeling it okay I really am. Let me see if it's buildable. This under eye is always <laughs> a little bit darker than this one to me, but let me just see if it's buildable. Okay. Yep, it is. Not bad. And I feel very comfortable blending it out with a sponge. I don't feel like I have to rush, like, oh, is it gonna be super dry, super fast? Mm -mm. And he's blending out like a dream. Yes. Okay. Let's put a little residual up here. And then I will brighten up just a little bit. Okay, let me know what y'all think. I like it, I really do. And let me hurry up and set it before it start creasing, okay? <laughs> now to set it, I'm going in with my DJ's Unique Boutique. And this is her loose setting powder in the shade Honey. So I'm going to set those concealed areas with her powder. Now if you guys have not checked out my video, showcasing DJ's Unique Boutique's holiday collection, which will be dropping on October 1st. I was getting some comments that was saying, oh, it's sold out and I missed it. No, you didn't miss it. We did the videos early so that you can get ready and prepare and, you know, get ready to cop that on October 1st, okay? So it didn't sell out. We just dropped our videos early for you guys. Y'all, this powder is bay, straight up bay. Now I'm gonna go in with my Iman Luxury Press Powder. This one is in the shade Earth Dark. Okay, so for bronzer today, I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer. Have not used this in eons, but I pulled this from my Shop My Stash, I believe. <laughs> so 
I want to go ahead and use this with this one is in the shade mahogany You guys, I totally forgot that I got one of the, you know, liquid blushes from Rare Beauty and I was going to put that on before I powder, but we gonna see how it works after powder today, honey. <laughs> because I totally forgot. Because I never really use cream or liquid blush and so with me wanting to try it out and play with it, I totally forgot that I wanted to put it on before I powdered, but... I've put on cream blush after powder before and it's worked out fine, but I don't know about liquid. Okay, so this is the Soft Pinch Matte Liquid Blush in the shade Love from Rare Beauty. So let's take a look. Very, very pretty packaging. And this is the shade Love. And I think this will go well with this eye look. Let me shake this up too, just in case. Okay. So another doe foot. So I'm going to put a little bit of this on my hand like so. And I think I'm gonna have to use the other side of my sponge just to kind of see what's happening. Because from what I understand, this stuff is pretty pigmented. So let me just tap, 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 tap. Tap, tap, tap in. Okay. So. I think it'll be okay if I add a little more. Cause I'm telling you, honey, when you put on too much blush, it's hard to go back with a cream or a liquid. Oh, it's interesting. It feels like it's kind of transforming into like, yeah, maybe I should just use my finger, right? Into like a powder. Like, you know, it's not staying like creamy or anything like that. It's actually kind of blending into my powder. And y'all know I love blush, so. You feel like I'm putting on too much. I'm just trying to show you what it looks like, okay? <laughs> I want you to see the color. Oh yeah, I like that. That's pretty. Okay, yeah, I can do that. Yes, and it's it's like it's it's turning into a powder or something, because as you can see, it's not like shiny and creamy and all that stuff. It's just blending into my powder. I like that. And you can see on my hand as I'm rubbing it, you see how it looks? Yes, I like that. Okay, let's see if I can do the other side without destroying <laughs> my, destroying my face. And I think by me using my finger, I'm really able to control the placement a lot better, even than with the sponge, you know. But if you don't like touching your face and stuff, then you can definitely just kind of use a sponge or maybe, a, what is it? The dual fiber brush, maybe? I don't know. But... I like it. <laughs> I love the finish. It's really, really pretty. Ooh, I like it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I know it's a lot, but I don't care. I like a lot of blush. <laughs> yes, I'm feeling it. This is a shade love, you guys. Rare Beauty is coming through today, okay? Yes. 
Okay, so I decided I wanted to try out this Give Me Glow California Love or California Dreaming Highlighter. I just, I can't resist. I have to try it out, okay? It's powdery. Okay. Now I'm going to do something I haven't done in a long time and I hope I don't regret it because <laughs> I kind of got tired of seeing like shimmer on my brow bone that's why i stopped doing it but i kind of want to put some of this highlighter on my brow bone today <laughs> just a little bit just to kind of make that yellow glow just a little bit not a lot, just a little. I don't even know if you guys can see that, but just I just put it just a teeny bit. Okay, so for the lower lash line, I think I'm gonna do purple. So I'm going in with my LA Girl Shockwave Neon Liner. Oh, and I'm not sure exactly what I want to do to smoke out my lower lash line. I think I'm going to go into this, you know, the bold dark orange shade and just put a little bit of that on my lower lash line. That color is so pigmented. I really like it. It's pretty. Okay, I'm going to in a corner pop. I think I'm going to go into this beautiful shade here. I cannot resist. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Is there such thing as too much highlight? I don't know. I don't know. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so let me put on some lashes and mascara, and then I'll try out one of these Juvia's lipsticks. I don't know if I'm gonna go with the peachy one or the mauve one. I'll have to swatch them. Okay, guys, so I added my lashes and my mascara, and that was an ordeal with this orange liner, so y'all forgive me if it's crooked so let's check out these juvia's place lipsticks okay so from the mauve set i got ooh, child, what does that say a mauve moments <laughs> so oh the packaging you guys i know you guys have seen this a million times but i just got it so i'm checking it out but the packaging so so pretty so this is a mauve moment look at these lipsticks Gorge. Okay, so I'm going to swatch this one right here. Oh, creamy. Yes, creamy. That's really pretty. Next, this one is from the Peachy set and it's called In Vogue. Same beautiful packaging. That's pretty too. Even though this is the darkest one, it's light very light <laughs> so i'm wondering what the lighter shades look like at least i hope i ordered the darkest one and lastly from the chocolate line i have coco same pretty packaging and this is what coco looks like Ooh, coco licious ah oh. oh coco is gorgeous so pretty okay so Am I doing Coco? I'm either doing Coco or a mauve moment because, hmm. I think I'm gonna do a mauve moment. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with my ColourPop BFF4 lip liner and we'll do a mauve moment. OK, 
okay I think that's pretty with this eye look what y'all think nice and soft these lipsticks are very very comfortable very very creamy very nice okay so I think I'm happy with that choice <laughs> I was thinking about adding a gloss but they're so creamy and comfortable I don't feel like I need to add a gloss Okay, you guys, so this is it. This is the look for today. And I must say, I am very pleased with everything I tried out today. I'm actually quite surprised. Um, quick recap, this Nomad Cartagena Magica, Cartagena Magica palette, so pretty. I think it creates just the most beautiful kind of like sunset or just springy, summery eye look. I feel like it's very, very nice, very beautiful, very refreshing. Like I said, and the shimmers, oh, so pretty. But like I said, I do wish it was just one deeper, darker shade in here just to help your girl smoke something out, okay? Because basically, this is basically the eye look I would do with this palette, <laughs> just to really explore the most bold colors in here. So yeah, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I love this palette, okay? Um, what else? The Rare Beauty products. I am so surprised because I've really been seeing mixed reviews on this stuff and I really, really like it. I was scared thinking, okay, the coverage is gonna be so sheer. I'm gonna have to really go in heavy with concealer and powder and multiple layers. But yo, I really like it. I'm like, am I just having a good skin day or something today? Because the coverage works for me. You guys saw it, you saw it. The concealer, I really like it as well. Blended out nicely. It's like very, it's not watery, it's kind of like in between creamy and just, I don't know. I like it though, I really do. It blended out seamlessly. I didn't have to worry about it drying down too fast. The sponge didn't take away too much of the pigmentation, so I like this as well. And y'all know how I feel about the blush, okay? I am just blushed all the way today and I'm loving it. So love the Rare Beauty stuff. The Give Me Glow highlighter, hello, <laughs> okay? This highlighter is sha-poppin', okay? It really is, and I love it. This one is the California Dreamin', okay? And being a Cali girl, y'all know I love it. And of course, you guys have already seen all of the Juvia's Place lipstick reviews. They're all super glowing, and mine is no different. I really, really love the way it feels. It's very comfortable. I love the shades. I can't wait to wear that chocolate one this fall, okay? And y'all know I love a good nude with uh, just a basic brown lip liner. Perfect, okay? So I really like it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments as usual, how you feel about this look, this face, this complexion, all of that, okay? Because I'm curious to know what you guys have to say. And I feel like the color foundation, I was worried it might be a little too chocolicious, but it's perfect for me. And I love it. It is really, really fitting me nicely, so. That's it, y'all. I'm going to stop yapping and stop talking. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel and you like what you see, go ahead and hit subscribe. Become a part of my family. And if you are one of my OGs, <laughs> thank you for watching. Welcome back, okay? <laughs> but thanks so much, you guys. Don't forget to hit that like, and I'll see you on the next video. Ta-da!